When I go and talk to mixed groups like that of parents and kids together, one of the things I always try to talk to parents about is reading with their kids. And not just reading, we think of reading with your, with your children of, you know, reading to a toddler with the toddler on your lap. But my idea of, of children is that when you have a child, you have this lifelong reading group um, that's built into your family. Uh, you have a way to share the books that are important to you. And once I once that your child starts to read, a lot of parents, you know, they continue to read what they're going to read and then their kid is reading on their own. And I think that's an opportunity that's often missed, that, um, that to read the same books and to discover some of the wonderful literature that's being read, written right now um, in America. Uh, some examples. Um, for older teens right now, The Hunger Games. Um, I lent it to my 24-year-old daughter, and she was up till 6 in the morning, you know, a book that kept me up. So again, um, you know, saying to someone, you know, here's a book that's interesting to you. My son um, is in community college and just finished reading Sherman Alexie's um, The Absolutely True Dyer, a part-time Indian, a wonderful book. Again, um, I, I read, you know, voraciously, but I often find that some of the most interesting works being done are for young people, and that people are missing out if they just assume those books are for young people. So that's something that I think is very important for us as, as parents.